and to have a hit record, and I Left My Heart in San Francisco was certainly a defining hit record. But Tony Bennett became used to that because Tony enjoyed success as a performing singer, as a recording artist, later as an acclaimed painter. Tony Bennett was on the record charts in the 1950s, in the 2020s, and in every decade in between. A remarkable man with a remarkable talent. Here a look at the music and more from Tony Bennett. Uh, I think the American public should be encouraged to be as creative as possible. We should all create. And the more we create individually, the more it'll go out into the world. And we'll get great respect from the rest of the world for saying good things about being alive. Susan, you were a teacher mm -hmm. for many I was. years. Yeah. So I'm sure you saw where as budgets got tighter, one of the first things that went away were the arts. Yeah, the arts and, and sports. Yeah. The two reasons why kids come to school. Right, you to know. keep them in school. Yeah. Why was it so important then for, for you and Tony? And let's, let's focus first on the, the Frank Sinatra School of the Arts. Why was it so important to create that? And what were you helping, hoping to get from it? Well, as you say, I was a teacher at an arts school, arts high school. Tony, when he was in public school, there were good arts programs. When, you know, and it, so we each in our own way saw firsthand the difference that the arts make in a, children, a child's life. And when you teach the arts, the kids want to come to school. And they tend to do better across all their disciplines. They are able to discover who they are at a critical time, you know, as a teen, you're trying to figure out where do I fit in the world. And they discover their creativity, and they discover the creativity of others uh, and celebrate that. And the great thing about public education is it brings people together from all walks of life. So your, art, you know, your fellow artist, your classmate, might be from a totally different background than you, but you come together over this shared experience of creating or simply experience, experiencing art. And you look beyond those differences and you're no longer afraid of those differences. You really celebrate and realize that my perspective is as valuable as your perspective. And that, I think, is what brings you know, the world together, brings people together, is that shared experience in the arts. I mean, and, and Tony had all these wonderful experiences as a youngster where he was able to realize his dreams and we see that taken away, like you say, with budget cuts. Tony, let me ask you about that, because you, as a, as a teenager, went to a high school, the High School for Industrial Arts. Right. right. How did that help to shape you? How did that help to push you in the direction that you it eventually traveled everything. in? It meant everything. In junior school and in high school, they, they all said, you know, you have to do a lot of work. And the new school said, go into Central Park. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> they said, paint nature. Yeah, wander into the park and do some painting. Yeah, paint, paint nature. Just study nature. And, and this was your experience in high school. And here I am still studying <laughs> nature. <laughs> still wandering into the park to study. Uh, here's my question, Tony, for you. It's not the Tony Bennett School of the Arts. It's the Frank Sinatra School of the Arts. Why did you choose to put Frank's name on that school? That's how much I respected him, because he really was the first one as a solo artist to make popular music very, very famous. And I was inspired by him being 15 years older than me, and he was my inspiration. And he is to this day, he was a, a magnificent artist that always depended on quality music. And I saw at one point in time where Frank Sinatra said, you know who the best singer is out there right now? Tony Bennett. Well, what did he know? <laughs> <laughs> I think he knew a lot to, 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 to pick you as But, that. you know, if I may, one of our most successful programs that we have with our nonprofit, Exploring the Arts, is our Tony Bennett Apprenticeship Program. And in a way, you know, right, Sinatra was one of your mentors when you started oh, out. So in, in, a, in a way, and so now he we've got just, to apprentice. Tony Bennett has been reveling with Alzheimer, the legendary New York pop and jazz singer. 
at the age of 96 has died. Bennett was known for songs such as The Way You Look Tonight, Body, Soul, I Left My Heart in San Francisco and so many others. I welcome you guys back on here. If you're new, consider subscribing, liking and also share this video. Now he collaborated with so many artists a case in point Lady Gaga to Aretha Franklin, Frank Sinatra who called him by the way the biggest and the huge and most talented singer in the business and of course during a career that has, that has spanned close to eight decades that's unprecedented and that's not so easy in this very competitive business of music. He's a man who has survived all ages. He's a man who has survived all of the storm. And the corona sold millions of records. And of course, he won 20 Grammys, including a Lifetime Achievement Award. Ideally, you cannot win 20 Grammys if you're not talented. You cannot win 20 Grammys if you're not that good. Elton John, who also duetted with the star, has led the tributes posting um, on his official social media saying that so sad to hear of Tani's passing without doubt the classiest legendary US singer Tony Bennett. He's a man who actually performed on so many stages. He's irreplaceable. I loved and adored him. That was Elton John, Osa Elton John, who was sending in his messages of condolences after the passing on of Tony Bennett. His death was confirmed by his publicist, that is, um, Sylvia Wiener, in a statement that was actually given to Associated Press, where she said he died in his hometown of New York City. There was no specific cause of death in this moment in time but of course Tony had been diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease in 2016. The singer Young Paul was among those um, paying also tributes on Twitter writing that R.I.P. Tony Bennett truly one of the great greats an incredible singer live saw him many times Star, Star Trek actor that is George Takei also came out on his social media and also paid his message of condolences to the family friends and fans of Tony Bennett in his words he said Tony Bennett was the last of his kind, a master of the American songbook. He may have left his heart in San Francisco, but of course, he won all of our hearts from Sinatra to Lady Gaga. Be at peace and sing to us now from the stars, Tony. Music, um, music legend that is Neil Rogers also added in, he said, uh, he really he will really miss Tony Bennett and thanks for all the memories. He was really very much loved not only in the US but also in the entire world and within the music industry. He's a man who actually um, made his works for close to eight decades and of course you cannot do that without his love. In one of his interviews I remember he said that he would have retired at the age of 16 but of course he never did and he did what he was supposed to do up to at the age of 96. What does that teach us? It teaches us that we should always have a purpose. We should always do something which we really enjoy and love doing. And in whatever situation, we have to persist and continue on with the journey. So, Tony has passed away. He was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease in 2016. And his family is actually survived by four children, Danny, Day, Joanna, and Antonia, plus the wife, Susan Crow. We send our deepest condolences to the family, friends, the fans, and of course, everyone who really loved him. Rest in power, the king, that is Tony Bennett.